Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Node.js developers In this tutorial, we are covering how to use webhooks in Node.js in 2024 If you are working on web applications or, project, or projects that require real-time data updates Webhooks are your best friend Follow along and I will guide you through the process So let's get started so before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, first of all, what is webhook exactly? So you might have seen webhooks mentioned in your app settings and wondered if they are something you should use. The answer in a nutshell is probably yes. Webhooks are one way that apps can send automated messages or information to other apps. It's how PayPal tells your accounting app when your clients pay you, how to will your route phone calls to your number, how WooCommerce can notify you about about new orders in Slack, there are simple way your online accounts can speak to each other. So when we are making a video about connecting app, for example, let's say connecting Google Chrome with Opera, I don't know if this exists even, or connecting PayPal with something else, connecting WooCommerce with WordPress, how are these apps are actually connected? Well, they are basically using webhooks. So let me just show you here. This is webhook and this is how it works. So event triggering, request with payload and then event processing and webhook will be the middle. So in this video guys, we are going to make a tutorial exactly how to use webhooks within Node.js. So there is two ways, either you are going to make a server in Node.js or you are going to create a webhook inside of Node.js. So here we go, let's start with creating the essence of webhook inside of Node.js. So the prerequisites are basically these ones. So to follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of JavaScript and Node.js, Node.js and NPM installed on your machine, a code editor such as Visual Studio Code. So step one, is to set up the project. Create a new directory for your project and navigate to it in your terminal. So you just have to write these two codes in front of you and paste them. So you just have to copy them, paste them and it should be good to go. Next thing is to initialize the project with npm. So simply just write npm nit and just simply that it's gonna be working. Then we have to install the required dependencies. So in this tutorial, they are using Express Web Framework and the body parts per middleware. So install them using the following command, npm install express body, express body parser and then you are going to start creating the webhook endpoints so this is the code so create a new file called index.js and add the following code so this is exactly the code const express require express and const uh, and constant body parser require body parser so the constant app goes for express, can support equals process dot environment dot port uh, 3k app use body parses dot json app dot pass slash webhook request here uh, results uh, console dot log um, received webhook request uh, request body uh, results t send status 200 and app listen port console dot log server is running on port and then write the port so here you should add your port of course so the code is set up as uh, is a set up an express server that listens to the for post requests at the webhook endpoint so the body parser middleware is used to parse incoming json payloads when a request is received the server logs the payload and sends a 200 status code as a response so this is the first uh, the third step now for the first step it's pretty much uh, the, the the ending of that so you just have to test the webhooks by starting the server by running it so you just have to write node index uh, index.js and now use to like postman or curl to send post requests to your local host so with a json payload you will simply send a request and after that you should type this code with uh, every information that you need and finally here 
uh, make sure to enter your local host so for me I don't have it already made in PC but this is like the link and it should be opened without any problem it is a local host guys so you wouldn't have any problems so for example if I open my local host here uh, I should remove this 3k for me because I didn't open this port I would be able to open my WordPress website so it is not really risky guys so here it is the port they have added like port 3k here as you can see this that's why the, we have here 3k because the port is 3k when you have created it so as you can see here we just have to paste this code and then you should see the following Output in your terminal. Received webhook event user registered user ID one name John Doe. So depending on the names and etc. So yeah, guys, these are basically how to manage to use Node.js to create a webhook. Now uh, the other way around, how can we make a server or uh, in Node.js or a webhook server in Node.js? So dependencies are basically these, as you can see here. You have to get uh, both example use Express Library to create the HTTP endpoint. You have to get the Express Library, and also for local development purposes, a tunneling service is required. For example, they are using in Grok. So simply just write npm install express json web token and or you can just simply download the ingrok here through this link ingrok.com slash download and you will be able to download ingrok on your windows in case you had windows. So here as you can see we have to follow these so example without checking the request signature and now just skip this one we don't have to go through it simply now just copy this and paste it in your terminal and then this is the real software this is the real code so once you have gone through this and the first line you have to copy this and paste it this has a lot of details to make sure to read it carefully do not miss any comma do not miss any line because it will make your code ruin itself so constant crypto equals require crypto constant express require express constant app equals express here as you can see this is the api secrets key so it is called secrets here it's for the app use the app post here you have got the results and here we got the so finally here after you finish with all of that you will be getting the way of using it so now how you can use it so you can start the server now simply by opening a file which is called node index.js make sure guys I didn't mention that make sure to name your file where you have put this this code node.js so you can run it by using this code you can also name it whatever you want and just simply remove this index and replace it with the name that you have named this folder with it is as simple as that and then just simply click that write this code and uh, use the server on the port that you have used that on the code so here they have used 9k so use 9k and yeah guys that was it thank you a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial